So the alliance all comes down to the ring for Stone Cold Appreciation. Paul Heyman is the MC. He says they've never had a leader like Steve Austin before or kisses his ass for a while. Everyone has gifts for Steve. And for some reason, most of them are T-shirts. Hurricane gives him a Green Lantern T-shirt. Canyon gives, gives him a Who Better Than Austin T-shirt. Deborah made him a tray of cookies, which, of course, he's not happy to see. <laughs> and Heyman says Stephanie paid for this special tribute video. And so what actually happened here in 2001 was they did a special cover of Wind Beneath My Wings. Mm-hmm. Only they re-sang, re-sang it as Wind Beneath My Ring. You know, what's interesting is they, they obviously took that out and they edited in just some beat. A generic Austin highlight video. But yes. it was interesting because instead of just, you know, putting some generic song in, they actually went out of their way to make a custom beat. Yeah. Yes. Because it actually, whenever Austin would like whip somebody with his belt, it would hit a beat. Yes. <laughs> I was like, why did and you it, bother with that? And they it, put was in, it was in step with what was going on. I couldn't believe it. I am what assuming. What a waste of fucking time. I am assuming this entire video was edited in from some other show, and they had produced this Austin highlight video for Heat or something, and just put <laughs> it here on the network here to replace this. Now, the reason I bring all this up, besides the fact that it's my job to tell you what happened in the show, even though I didn't watch this segment, and even though I have not gone to watch it on YouTube or anything else, I've had this stupid song stuck in my head all night long. <laughs> it sucks. So, they're celebrating this video. Austin's very happy. He notes everyone has an ECW shirt on, or a WCW shirt on, or a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt on. And then he notes the exception, which is Taz. Taz fucked up. Taz Again. wore one of his own shirts. He's standing there in an orange shirt. <laughs> Hard to miss. Austin is berating him. He goes to tear you know, the I shirt off I got nothing against the color orange. But yeah. I mean... I guess I shouldn't say anything right now. Sure. But it seems weird that like that would you'd want that to be your color. No, orange you know I'm black. saying? Like yeah. it might want to be black or red. Dude dude, in two thousand one, if you want to stand out, you do not choose black. That's right. Well, I mean you could I don't know. Orange? He his colors were always black and orange. Hmm. I know that. Danger. I guess Hogan chose red and yellow. Yeah. Like he was at McDonald's. I suppose so. Anyway. You know why McDonald's chose that color scheme? Tell why me. Why is that? It's a true story. Ketchup and mustard? No, because it was fast food, and they wanted to sell billions of burgers. Mm-hmm. And so the idea was they made the inside of the McDonald's so appalling that the idea was that people wouldn't want to spend a lot of time in there. So you would go in, you would get your burger, you'd be in this, like, I'm not even making this up, this hideous color scheme. This makes sense. And then you'd get the fuck out of there. So it wasn't like red and yellow was, like, an appealing color scheme, Mm -hmm. but apparently the Hulkster was like, ah, this will be a great combination. Red and yellow. Which is weird. And then he was, like, the color of a hot dog. When you think about it. He actually was. Yeah. Yeah. It's bizarre. I've never thought about the comparison before, but it's totally valid. Anyway, Kurt Angle shows up in a milk truck. Oh, tr- this fucking milk truck. <laughs> God damn. Fuck. Are they trying or not with with, with Kurt Angle? They're trying. It's uh, I mean, come question. on. This fucking guy's a milk drinker. Like, you've sure. got from Steve Austin, the beer drinker, to, oh, well, he's going to be like Steve Austin, but he's not going to swear, and he's going to fucking drink milk. He comes out in a fucking milk truck. He's it throwing worked. He's throwing milk at these nerds. Yeah, but it won't work because it was dumb. Why would there be a hose in a milk truck that sprays That's milk everywhere? An excellent question. But, like, you drive up and, oh, that guy's got a long driveway. I'll just spray milk at his house when I do my delivery. Why would there be a hose that sprays milk? So the fire hose, like Stanley Spadowski. Stupid. Oh, it was stupid. I'll go and check then he, the uh, Smith Brothers uh, vehicles when I, when I see yeah. them around town. Yes. So he pours milk in himself, and the show ends, and that's odd. All I could, all it was all just dumb. Was, that it's was one of those odd. things that I'm sure people are like, "Oh, Brian, it was so cool when he came out in the milk truck." No, it wasn't. Okay. I enjoyed the heck out if of it. If you were really new, maybe that was cool. But this guy's supposed to be the top fucking baby face. He's fucking spraying milk at folks. The one thing I noticed is when he was hucking the uh, didn't even the- come out a giant nipple. You're right over there, Vinny. 
<laughs> not sure how to continue on that one. <laughs> You're right. He didn't do that. No. I can't argue with you. I can't dispute your facts. Maybe that would have gotten him more over. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yes, Craig. It, 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 it doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> it's really hard to follow up on that. By the way, what the hell are you wearing? I'm Probably wearing a vest, not. bro. <laughs> Do you look like you rolled up in a 1970s area rug and kind of holds for okay, your arms? Okay, you want to hear the story of this vest, Vinny? Yes. All right. Well, I was cold one day. Uh-huh. And there was a vest downstairs that happened to be Whitney's. And I put it on. And it looked like this, except it was like green. Okay? Right. Mm -hmm. I'm running around the house. Who cares? And then it was time for Observer Live. And I just started doing the show. I totally forgot that I was wearing the vest. Gotcha. So the... Twitch chat goes nuts. What the fuck are you wearing? Ba 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 ba. Well, then it was sort of a gimmick. I see. But anyway, I see. so I, I had the vest, and actually, the reason I wore the vest is because it fits and it's fucking comfortable. So I was wearing the vest everywhere, and Woody's like, "Can I have my vest back?" And I said, "Well, I mean, sure, but can I wear it?" Because I know the vest you're talking about. Yes. Actually, yes. <laughs> so anyway, so anyway, she decided for Valentine's Day that she Aww. was going to get me my own vest. The same vest, okay? Yes. So she looked online, and it's, it's a woman's vest. And so she was like, well, what color could I get him? What, what would be the most manly color of women's vest that I could get him? Not that Rust? One. Well, apparently on the website, this is listed as brown. Mm. It arrived. <laughs> it appears to be pink. Uh. Pink-hued. So anyway, I got a pink women's vest for Valentine's Day. Well, that's a wonderful gift. And I happen to wear it. That's excellent. So that's that's what I'm wearing right now. I'm but so it, happy. It I does asked. in fact look like an area rug or a shag rug. Shag rug. That's yeah. a better way. Yeah. It's actually yes. it's actually uh, softer than many of the towels that I own. I like that. You're bearing the lead. You can wear your wife's clothes. Yes, Craig. I can wear my wife's clothes. Okay. Some of them, not all mm. of them. No. Oh. Yes. Not in my mind. Yes. My, it's, it's, it's a little tight around my bosom. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, she's going to love to hear that. <laughs> All right, let's get going here. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.